When I first got the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL, my initial reaction was that it was quite large. It's bigger than many other kitchen appliances I own, so you might need to think about where it will sit in your kitchen. It has a sleek design, and though it's big, it doesn't feel too bulky for what it does. I had to clear a bit of counter space to make sure it fit properly, but once I did that, it settled in nicely. The setup was straightforward. Out of the box, it doesn't require any assembly, so you just plug it in, and it's ready to go. There's no need for preheating either, which is a big bonus for me. I'm used to using an oven, and the preheating step always takes extra time. With this air fryer, you just turn it on, set the time and temperature, and you're good to start cooking. That's especially useful if you're in a rush or need to get food on the table quickly. One thing I like is that it comes with a one-year warranty, which gives a bit of peace of mind. I haven't had any issues with the machine so far, but it's nice to know that if something goes wrong within that year, it's covered. Size and capacity. The air fryer is marketed as being able to handle meals for up to six people, and in my experience, that holds. I've used it for family dinners, and it's big enough to cook food for everyone in one go. The basket can hold up to three pounds of food, which is plenty if you're making something like fries, chicken, or even a batch of vegetables. I've even used it to roast a small chicken, and it fits comfortably without any issues. That said, if you're cooking for just one or two people, it might feel like overkill. The large size means you're using more space than necessary if you're only making a small portion of food. For me, though, the large size works because I often cook for four or more people at a time. Another thing to mention about the size is that the air fryer takes up a good amount of space in the kitchen. If you don't have a lot of counter space, this might be something to consider. I had to rearrange a few things in my kitchen to make room for it, but once I found a spot, it wasn't a problem. Cooking performance. The main reason I got the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL was to try a healthier way of cooking fried foods. I've always loved fried foods, but I didn't love the amount of oil they required. This air fryer claims to cook with up to 90% less fat, and after using it for a while, I can say that's fairly accurate. The food still comes out crispy and flavorful, but with much less oil. A lot of the time, you don't need to add any oil at all. One feature that stands out is the fat removal technology. I was a bit skeptical at first about how well it would work, but I was pleasantly surprised. When I cooked things like chicken thighs, I could see the excess fat collecting at the bottom of the basket. This wasn't something I'd noticed with other air fryers I've used in the past. The food still tastes great, but I like knowing that some of that excess fat isn't making it onto my plate. The air fryer has preset programs for different types of food, which makes it easy to use. There are five different settings, including ones for fries, meat, fish, chicken, and even baking. I've tried most of them, and they all seem to cook the food evenly and quickly. I especially like the fries setting, as it does a great job of getting them crispy without drying them out. Another thing I've noticed is how fast it cooks compared to an oven. It claims to cook food four times faster than an oven, and while I haven't timed it exactly, it does seem much quicker. I've cooked things like frozen fries, chicken wings, and even steak in much less time than it would take to cook them in the oven. This is great when you need to get dinner on the table quickly, or if you're just too hungry to wait. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that the air fryer is quite powerful, so it's easy to overcook food if you're not careful. I had a couple of times where I left something in for just a little too long, and it came out overdone. It's a bit of a learning curve at first, but once you get the hang of the timing and temperature settings, it becomes easier to avoid overcooking. Fat removal technology. As I mentioned earlier, one of the standout features of this air fryer is the fat removal technology. It's supposed to capture more fat from the food than other air fryers, and from what I've seen, it does a pretty good job. When I cook meats like chicken or steak, I can see the fat collecting in the bottom of the basket. It's nice to know that the food I'm eating is a little bit healthier because of this feature. I've tried cooking the same foods in other air fryers before, and I didn't notice as much fat being collected. So, it seems like the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL does live up to its claims in that regard. If you're conscious about fat intake, this is a feature worth noting. Ease of cleaning. Cleaning kitchen appliances is always one of the more annoying parts of cooking, but Philips made it relatively easy with this air fryer. The basket and tray are both removable, and they're dishwasher safe, 
which makes cleanup a breeze. I've thrown them in the dishwasher several times, and they come out perfectly clean every time. Even if you don't use a dishwasher, the non-stick coating on the basket makes it easy to clean by hand. The quick clean basket does make a difference. There's no scrubbing or soaking required to get it clean, which I appreciate. After cooking something like chicken or fries, I usually just wipe it down with a paper towel and rinse it under the sink. It doesn't take much time at all, and it's much easier than cleaning an oven or a deep fryer. One small downside is that the air fryer itself can get a little greasy after repeated use, especially around the edges where the basket slides in. I've had to wipe down the outside of the air fryer a few times to keep it looking clean, but that's a minor issue. Philips Kitchen App I didn't think much of the app that comes with the air fryer at first, but after using it for a while, I've come to appreciate it. The Philips Kitchen app has a ton of recipes specifically designed for the air fryer, which is helpful if you're new to air frying or just looking for new ideas. The app is easy to use, and it's broken down into categories like appetizers, main courses, and desserts. I've found a lot of inspiration there, and it's encouraged me to try out new things in the air fryer. I've made everything from crispy Brussels sprouts to baked goods like muffins, and the results have been pretty good. One thing I will say is that the app isn't completely necessary. You can use the air fryer without it, but it's a nice bonus if you like to experiment with different recipes. It's also handy if you're unsure about cooking times or temperatures for certain foods, as the app provides guidelines for most common ingredients. Family-friendly cooking. One of the reasons I got this air fryer was because I wanted a healthier way to cook for my family. We love fried foods, but I've always felt guilty about how much oil is involved. With the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL, I can make the same kinds of foods without worrying as much about the fat content. It's also a great appliance for busy families. Because it cooks so quickly, I can get dinner on the table in a fraction of the time it would take using an oven or stovetop. This is especially helpful on weeknights when everyone's hungry and time is tight. The large capacity also means I can cook enough food for the whole family in one go. I don't have to cook in batches, which saves time and makes the whole process more efficient. Durability and build quality. The build quality of the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL seems solid. It feels sturdy and well-made, and after several months of use, it's still working perfectly. The buttons and controls are responsive, and nothing feels cheap or flimsy. I've used the air fryer multiple times a week, and it's held up well. The non-stick coating on the basket hasn't shown any signs of wear and the overall performance has been consistent. Based on my experience so far, I expect this air fryer to last a long time. Final thoughts. Overall, the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL has been a great addition to my kitchen. It's easy to use, cooks food quickly and evenly, and the fat removal technology is a nice bonus for those looking to eat healthier. The large capacity makes it perfect for families, and the ease of cleaning is a big plus for anyone who hates scrubbing pots and pans. While it does take up a bit of counter space and can be a little overwhelming for smaller meals, the pros far outweigh the cons for me. It's become a go-to appliance in my kitchen, and I find myself using it for everything from snacks to full meals. If you're looking for a versatile, family-friendly appliance that makes healthier cooking easier, I'd highly recommend the Philips Premium Digital Air Fryer XXL. Let me talk you through my experience with the Ninja Kitchen Air Fryer Oven. I've been using it for a bit, and there's much to say. First, let's talk about the digital touchscreen. Do you know how some kitchen gadgets can feel complicated, with too many buttons and functions? Well, that's not the case here. The screen is small, just about 1.3 inches, but it's pretty easy to use. It's not overwhelming at all. I found it clear and switching between cooking modes was fast. No need to read through a huge manual or press a million buttons to get things going. I like it when something just works without a hassle, and this did that for me. One thing I realized pretty quickly is that this air fryer isn't just about air frying. It's got quite a few tricks up its sleeve. You can roast, broil, bake, toast bagels, dehydrate, and even reheat food. So, it's not just a one-trick pony. I've tried most of these functions. I roasted vegetables, and they came out nice and even. Then I switched it up and tried the air fry setting for some fries, and they got that nice crisp on the outside while staying soft on the inside. It's versatile enough that I've been using it for different things all the time. 
It's like having several appliances in one, and it makes me feel like I've got more options in the kitchen without needing extra space. Now, about the size, this is where it worked for me. My kitchen isn't the biggest, so I'm always thinking about how much space things take up. The Ninja Kitchen measures 10.2 inches by 11.6 inches by 12.8 inches, and it weighs about 10.5 pounds. It's compact enough that I can move it around easily. I don't feel like I'm constantly shuffling things on the counter just to make room. I can pull it out when I need it and tuck it away when I don't. It's small, but it's not so tiny that it feels like you can't cook much in it. For me, this balance of size and function is one of the highlights. This thing has 1,800 watts, and I noticed right away that it heats up quickly. I didn't have to wait long for it to preheat, which is nice when you're in a hurry. When I used it to broil fish, it came out evenly cooked. That's something that can be tricky with some appliances, but not here. The cooking power impressed me because it felt consistent across all the functions I tried, from roasting to air frying. Everything I made seemed to cook evenly, and that's not something I've always been able to say about other gadgets I've used. But with this air fryer, some parts are dishwasher safe, and that makes things so much easier. I'm not someone who enjoys spending a lot of time cleaning after a meal. So, the fact that I could just pop some parts into the dishwasher and move on with my day was great. The parts that aren't dishwasher safe were still easy to wipe down, so overall, it didn't feel like a chore to clean up after using it. That's a big win in my book. One thing I wondered about before using it was whether it could handle enough food, especially given its smaller size. But after using it for a while, I found it has plenty of space for most meals. I've cooked for just myself and for my family, and it worked fine either way. I didn't feel like I had to cook in multiple batches or that I was limited by the size of the air fryer. It felt roomy enough to get the job done, which was a pleasant surprise. Another thing I noticed is how quiet it is. I don't know about you, but I've used some kitchen appliances that can get pretty loud, to the point where it's annoying. That's not the case here. The Ninja Kitchen runs quietly, even when it's working hard to roast or air fry. I could have a conversation in the kitchen without raising my voice, and I didn't feel like it was disturbing anyone else in the house. It's a small detail, but when you're using it regularly, it makes a difference. Overall, I think this air fryer is a good addition to the kitchen. It doesn't take up much space, it's easy to use, and it's versatile enough that I've been reaching for it more than I expected. The performance has been solid, and I appreciate that it's not overly complicated. It's become a reliable tool in my cooking routine. I've been using the Breville Smart Oven for a while now, and it has quickly become a main part of my kitchen. What caught my attention was how many different things this appliance can do. It's more than just an air fryer, there are 13 cooking functions. You can roast, bake, slow cook, toast, and even dehydrate food. I've used it to make everything from toast in the morning to roasted veggies for dinner. Having a machine that can handle so many cooking tasks in one spot is nice. One feature I find useful is the Element IQ system. It helps the oven cook food evenly by controlling where the heat goes. This is especially helpful for baking. I baked cookies and muffins, and they always turned out evenly baked, without burnt edges and undercooked center. The oven also has a convection fan that speeds up cooking time. I noticed that meals cook faster than in a regular oven, and I've been able to shave some time off my usual recipes. For example, roasted chicken cooks faster, and the skin gets nice and crispy, which is always a bonus. The air fry setting. I've tried air frying fries, chicken wings, and even some vegetables, and they turn out crispy without being greasy. I think it does a great job for air frying compared to other air fryers I've used in the past. There's also a dehydrate function that works well if you like making your own dried fruit or veggie chips. The fact that you can fit up to four trays at once is really helpful if you're making a larger batch. The oven comes with a few useful accessories too, like a pizza pan, two oven racks, and a mesh basket for air frying. I've used the pizza pan several times, and I like that it fits perfectly in the oven, making pizza night a lot easier. The oven also has a light inside, which turns on when the cooking cycle is almost finished. It's a small feature, but I find it helpful when I want to check on how things are cooking without opening the door and losing heat. There are a couple of things to consider though. The oven is pretty big, so it does take up a decent amount of counter space. If you have a small kitchen, you'll want to plan out where to put it. It's not something you can easily move around either. 
Another thing is that it's on the pricier side compared to basic air fryers or toaster ovens. But for me, the number of functions it offers makes it worth the investment because I'm using it instead of multiple different appliances. Overall, I'm really happy with the Breville Air Fryer Pro. It handles so many different types of cooking that it's replaced a lot of other kitchen gadgets for me. The air frying is quick and effective, the baking is even, and the dehydrate function is a nice bonus. If you have the space for it and want something that can do a little bit of everything, I think it's a solid choice for any kitchen. I've been using the Instant Vortex Plus 6 in one air fryer for a while now, and it's quickly become one of my favorite kitchen tools. It can do six things, air fry, broil, roast, dehydrate, bake, and reheat. That sounds like a lot, but honestly, it's pretty simple to use, and I like that it handles so many different tasks. It's made cooking a lot easier for me. The thing that stands out the most for me is how crisp the food turns out. There's something called even crisp technology, which means the food gets that nice crispy outside while staying soft and tender inside. I've tried it on wings, vegetables, and even some potatoes, and it always gives me that nice crunch without needing a ton of oil. I like that it's healthier than deep frying, but it still tastes really good. It's also nice that there are smart programs built into the machine. I don't have to guess the temperature or time when making things like wings or roasted veggies, I just press a button, and it takes care of it. Another thing I appreciate is how fast it heats up. I don't have to wait long to get cooking, even if the food is frozen. The temperature range is wide, going from 95 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which means I can use it for a variety of things. Sometimes I'll roast meat, and other times I'll dehydrate fruit. It's really handy having that flexibility in one machine. The size is pretty good too. It fits on my counter without taking up too much space, but it's still big enough to make meals for my family of four. Cleaning up has been easy. The basket and tray are non-stick, and I can just pop them in the dishwasher. That's been a huge plus for me because I hate scrubbing greasy pans. The design of the fryer is nice, too. It's compact, but not too small. And the stainless steel gives it a sleek look that fits in with the rest of my kitchen. I also feel safer using it because it has features like overheat protection and an automatic shutoff. Another thing I've noticed is how evenly it cooks, no matter what I'm making. Sometimes, with other air fryers or ovens, the food doesn't cook consistently, and you end up with some parts burnt and other parts undercooked. That hasn't been an issue with the Instant Vortex Plus. Everything comes out evenly cooked, which saves me from having to rotate or stir things halfway through. I've made batches of fries and cookies, and they turn out golden and crispy all over without me having to babysit the machine. It's convenient, especially when I'm juggling multiple things in the kitchen. I also appreciate how versatile it is. Besides the obvious things like frying and roasting, I've used it for baking small batches of cookies and even for reheating leftovers. Reheating pizza in the air fryer, for example, makes it taste fresh again without getting soggy, which is a huge plus. I haven't tried the dehydrating function much, but I did make some dried apple slices once, and they turned out great. It's not something I use every day, but it's nice to know I have the option if I need it. This air fryer has simplified a lot of my cooking, and I feel like it's replaced a few other appliances I used to rely on. One extra feature I've enjoyed is the Instant Brands Connect app that comes with it. The app has a bunch of recipes, and I've tried a few of them. They turned out well, but honestly, I mostly use my recipes with the air fryer. It's just nice to have some extra ideas when I'm stuck on what to cook. Overall, this air fryer has made cooking a lot easier and faster for me. It handles a lot of different foods and tasks, and I'm happy with how it performs every time. The Kosori Pro 2 Air Fryer Max XL has become a regular part of my cooking routine, and I've been using it quite a bit. Its size is great because the 5.8-quart basket fits enough food for my family of four. It can even handle a whole 5-pound chicken, which is convenient when I'm making bigger meals. I like that I can just toss everything in and cook for everyone at once instead of using the oven. One of the things I appreciate is the 12 different cooking functions. It's got presets for things like chicken, seafood, and even frozen food, which saves me time when I don't want to think about what settings to use. But the best part for me has been the option to customize those settings. I often adjust the temperature or time to suit how I like things cooked, and once I've found the perfect setting, I can save it. 
This feature makes it easy when I'm cooking things like fries or bacon because I don't have to remember what worked best last time. It's already saved. The shake reminder is also useful when I need to shake up the food halfway through, but I like that I can turn it off when it's not needed. I've noticed that the air fryer heats up fast, and the food cooks evenly because of its 360 degrees air circulation. I've been able to make things like crispy fries or baked chicken without using a lot of oil, which is a healthier option for my family. I used to use the oven for a lot of things, but now the air fryer has replaced that for most quick meals. The preheat function is quick, and I think it helps get better results compared to when I skip it. Cleaning up after cooking has also been easy. The basket is non-stick, so food doesn't get stuck, and it's dishwasher safe. I usually just put it in the dishwasher, and it's good to go for the next use. I'm not a fan of spending too much time on cleanup, so this has been a huge plus for me. The touchscreen is also easy to use, and I haven't had any issues figuring out how to navigate the settings. Another thing I like is the auto shutoff feature. It makes me feel safer, especially when I'm busy with other things in the kitchen or if I walk away while cooking. I don't have to worry about the air fryer staying on for too long. I've tried a few recipes from the included cookbook, and they've turned out pretty well. It's a good way to get ideas when I'm not sure what to make. Overall, I've been happy with how the Kosori Pro 2 Air Fryer Max XL works for everyday cooking. It's quick, easy to clean, and has made my meals a bit healthier. I use it for a variety of foods, and it's taken the place of my oven for a lot of dishes, especially when I don't want to wait for the oven to preheat or when I just want a simple meal without too much effort. It's become one of my go-to appliances in the kitchen.